Today we're opening up a bunch of Scarlet and Violet Pokemon cards. We have the Booster Bundle right here, which has six packs inside, along with six Blister Packs, so we can find out which uh, which Pokemon card product will give us the better pulls. On top of that, we have a special little halftime show where we're gonna open up extra packs too, and we're also doing a giveaway today for a Coridon EX card. This card right here is the mascot of the Scarlet game, and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel, hit that like button down below, and comment telling me if you've nicknamed any of your Pokemon any weird names and what Pokemon that was. That's all you gotta do. So let's start off with the six blister packs here first. And uh, we actually picked up all of these Pokemon cards from the friends over at Manta Trading. I was there on the recent Friday night local tournament, which was a, po a post rotation tournament. So it was a Scarlet and Violet format. So if you wanna see uh, maybe one of your first Pokemon card tournament vlogs ever, check it out. I'll leave a link down below. And you guys can use my code SneakerTalkTCG to save 5% off at Manta Trading dot com and here we go first pack magic what can we get i want to see some heat man we got Mankey, we got buizel and a professor's research we got the poker rev and the pack battles are going to be weird now because since every pack comes with like a hollow rare i'm gonna have to figure out a new way to do like the official pack battles we do on the channel uh but yeah let's run it up second pack man so much so much reverse hollows now that i have because you get like two pretty much in every single pack all right, we got Watrill, Beach Court, take this out of your bulk, very valuable card. We got Sandaconda, we got Katie, Silicobra, a Pokey Gear. Ooh, very nice, Klefki. This card is worth like a couple of dollars as well, so if you get this as a hollow rare spot, don't be disappointed, it's a really solid card. Gyarados Blister Pack. I have a bunch of Gyarados cards I'm selling. Ooh, I have a bunch of Gyarados cards I'm selling, but uh, recently I just started to do some more uh, eBay listings. So a lot of the cards I don't want to put in my actual decks or my binders, I'll be selling on my eBay store, and I have the best prices on eBay, guaranteed. So uh, if you ever want to buy some Pokemon cards from you know a reputable source, I got you covered. We got Slowpoke, we got Riolu, and a cloth, oh, the Ooh. crab rave Pokemon. I have had so much fun building these new Scarlet and Violet decks. Uh, I am thinking about doing like a video where I showcase all the decks I'm currently building. But I also asked you guys in the tournament vlog, which I uploaded actually this afternoon, uh, the common question of the day was to let me know like, ooh, Nest Ball, take that out of your book too. Very, very good card. Pasharisu, Growlithe, a Dolive, and a Meowskarada. This is gonna be the Pokemon we pick when we do our playthrough of Scarlet over on a YouTube, YouTube live stream. I asked you guys to comment, what kind of decks are you looking forward to playing for Scarlet and Violet? And like, what decks are you sad about uh, rotating out? And everyone knows I'm a, I'm a big Zacian fanboy. I'm like the poster child for Zacian V. So I'm sad that Zacian's kind of getting rotated out. This card would have been perfect, or uh, Rev of Room would have been perfect in the post rotation format if we still had Zacian V, but we don't. So in the halftime show, we're going to show you guys, we're gonna talk about some of the comments you guys dropped uh, and give you guys some shout out, some love in this video. We got Mankey, Staraptor, and oh baby, there we go. Maridon EX, you'll love to see it. This is one of the best cards you can pull in full art form. I am very, very happy about this, man. This card is worth like $25, $30. So it basically pays for the six Blisha packs if I were to sell this card. But Maridon is a really, really good card for competitive play. Now we have two of these Maridon. One pack left remaining for the blister pack side. And then we're gonna get to the halftime show, which you might have seen a little teaser already. If you look really close behind me, uh, behind my hands, you'll see what we're gonna open up. And I also have to mention, we haven't picked a winner for that product. So let's go next pack, Toad School, Rotom, Chansey, Rare Candy, a Cacturn, Mesagosa, Heracross, we got Grievard, followed by Drowsy. That's some funny looking art and a Howlucha to round out the blister packs. But uh, we did do a giveaway for the Silver Tempest Booster Bundle and we haven't announced the winner yet. So right now, congratulations. This is the winner right here for the sealed booster bundle of Silver Tempest that the friends over at Manta Trading actually provided us with. So if you are the winner, contact me within a week and we'll get that prize over to you. And if the winner doesn't contact me, we'll just have to pick another winner. Let's get to a Silver Tempest booster bundle for our halftime show and also get to some comments for the common question of the day from that tournament vlog. You guys know for myself, some of the decks I'm really looking forward to playing uh, this rotation are Oinkalone EX, the big pick. 
Big Pig EX looks like a lot of fun, and I'm gonna become a little bit of a meta slave. I'm gonna start playing some Giratina Lost Box, because that's might be one of the best decks, or Maridon EX becomes is really, really good right now. There's so much hype behind this card. So we're gonna actually use all my full arts in my decks. Silver Tempest Booster Bundle for our little halftime show. Can we pull a third alternate art Lugia V? That would be absolutely insane if we did. And we got six packs inside. Now, fun fact, if you don't know, all these booster bundles come with six packs, but uh, Manta has this like promo where if you buy five blisters, you get one free. So you can do that for like any set at Manta, which is really, really fun. It's nice. All right. So we got Silver Tempest and let's also get to some of the, uh, some of the comments you guys dropped from the comment question of the day. So we got Colin Muller who says, I will play Maridon Regilecki in first place. I just paid so much money not to play with it mostly. Yeah, so that's that, th those cards, Maridon and Regilecki, Regilecki VMAX, those prices have shot up a lot. So that's like one of the best decks right now. And they also said they're gonna play Hisuian Samurai V-Star, which is very, very interesting. I'd, I'd love to see how that performs now because they say it got some pretty good, it got pretty good uh, with this new rotation. All right, we got Feebas, we got Noibat, we got Snow Runt, a Pedalil, and a Earthern Seal Stone. Okay, awesome. A, who says, Darkrai V Star is about to go crazy post rotation. Kyoshi Mio, who says, I already have my Gardevoir EX deck, and it's crazy good, especially with Wire Deer or Weird Deer, Zacian V, and Sky Seal Stone. Yeah, so Gardevoir is definitely one of the top tier decks right now, the top three decks. So if you love Gardevoir, which there's a good chance you are, because Gardevoir is one of the most popular Pokemon. Uh, Gardevoir is in a really good spot. All right, we got Fletchling. We got Chimeco. Ooh, I see something like, I see a black border behind this. We got Feebas. We got Ariados and a... Alolan Vulpix V. Pretty cool card. Chris Steffens, they say, I miss my Eternatus deck. Oh man, yeah, I'm gonna miss Eternatus. Uh, when I got back into the hobby, Darkness Ablaze was the newest set at the time. And so Eternatus VMAX box collection, the premium box collection, that's actually my first thing I bought when I got back into the hobby. So I'm gonna miss Eternatus VMAX. They also said they're gonna be playing Mew until they get some more cards because Mew is actually still really good in this format. They didn't, Mew didn't really lose too much. Uh, I was playing with Little Dark Fury, or, or we did a video with Little Dark Fury in the tournament vlog, a little segment, and he was like, yeah, Mew only lost Quick Ball and Rotom Phone, so Dragonair and Fion. So Mew is still very capable, and you don't have to buy any new cards. Like, you literally don't have to buy anything else to play Mew, which is still a really, really good deck. And they also said, I plan on trying out Oinkalone and trying to make Scovillian competitive. Scovillian. Oh yeah, Scovillian EX, is that it? I want to try a Spit Ops EX. Spit Ops looks like it could be pretty fun as well. All right, we got a Psychic Energy. We got Dragonair, Venomoth, a Wallace, a Litten, Murkrow, Swablu, Rotom, a Bunari, ooh, Drudgegon, and a Amoongus. Two more packs of Silver Tempest, and I still think we got some more comments remaining here. We got Jay Quintero, who says, gotta go with Maridon, bro, even though both are nice eye works. Oh no, that, <laughs> they were talking about the giveaway we're doing on my YouTube community post. So I'm giving away the promo cards, these right here that you get from the Elite Trainer boxes. So if you go to my YouTube like community post uh, like section thing, you can enter and just comment on that. Tell me which one you like more and you'll be entered to win one of, or not, you'll be entered to win both. Entered to win both of the promo card. Good luck to everybody for that. Uh, but I do like the uh, the Maridon art out of the two a bit more. I'll show you guys those in a second. We got Litten, Petalil, a Relicanth, and an Arcanine. Dude, this booster bundle has been brutal. Ooh. But yeah, getting to those promo cards. Here's the two promo cards. I really like the Maridon, man. It gives me these like Vaporwave vibes, a really nice like cyberpunk kind of-esque look. Maridon's really cool too, and I like napping Pokemon. I think it's really cute. But yeah, Maridon has my heart. Last pack of Silver Tempest from our halftime show. Best pull from this entire booster bundle has been the, uh, the Alolan Vulpix V. All right, one of you guys can take that code. Usually I redeem them, but I'll, I'll, I'll be generous today. You know, we'll give away one code today. Uh, but when we do give away codes, it's usually during our live streams. All right, we got Gym Trainer. We got Corellia. This is a good one too. You want to take this out of your Silver Tempest bulk uh, and use it in your Gardevoir decks. We got Baltoy, Sunkern, a little Clink Action, Petalil, Amolga, and a Frostlass. Oh my gosh. That was a really brutal, that, that was a brutal uh, booster bundle right there. I, I, uh, 
Uh. Next up, let's get to the Scarlet and Violet booster bundle right here. And this is my first ever booster bundle for Scarlet and Violet. So I'm excited about this uh, because booster bundles, except for that last one that I just opened, have given me some really, really good pulls. And it is the like cheapest way, bang for bang per buck, uh, to open up packs outside of buying those big booster boxes, which are just getting more and more expensive. And here we go six packs inside this is the best pull this is the card to beat can we beat maridon ex full art out of these six packs of scarlet and violet and uh, if you guys want to see some more scarlet and violet opened up on the channel i of course have a full playlist link down below and we've already got in two of the major chase cards in the set so let's let's do this thing man can we pull any more chase cards apparently from what i've seen like tcg player uh did release their pull rates like uh info graph thingy and uh the pull rates in scarlet and violet are very very generous so if you like pulling heat dash bun that's a cool card we got king gambit as our hollow rare and a basic energy uh then scarlet and violet honestly is really stacked with a lot of really good pulls i know some people don't like that because they want their certain cards to be even more expensive than they need to be but honestly if you want to be a player in this card game uh now is a really good time because a lot of the competitive cards are not crazy expensive uh compared to previous sets where like cards like arceus v star were like 40 dollars upon release uh that's not the case for cards like maridon and whatnot there we go florgus team star grunt mesagosa and a Cyclazar Hollow Rare, one of the most common Hollow Rares in the set. I'm sorry again for the mispronunciation of some names. It's gonna take some getting used to, especially until I start playing or once I start playing the games, I'll actually get my 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 act together. But I call it like Caridian and Meridian sometimes, so I apologize about that. I know some people get very offended. Uh, so if you're gonna cancel me, that's probably the one thing I'm gonna get canceled over. All right, we got Fatality Band, we got Toxtricity. Grimer. I've never seen Grimer look so happy, except for that one art that got kind of banned way back in the day. We got Quaxly. We got Arboliva as our hollow rare. I think they like changed the way that that Grimer, yeah. It was like, if you know about the Grimer from back in the day, you know about the Grimer. We got Magnemite, Pokemon Catcher, Quaxly, my favorite duck Pokemon. I'm sorry, Psyduck, move over, but Quaxly has an amazing, amazing haircut. Electric Generator, very good card. Take it out of your bulk. We got Wug Trio. This card is interesting, man. This card's really, really funny. One of my friends from my volleyball team said one of their favorite Pokemon was like uh, Dug Trio, and I was like, whoa, that's a strange Pokemon to really like. So I showed them what Wug Trio was, and they lost it, man. They were just like, they were like, whoa, what? Wug Trio is awesome. All right, we got Annihilate, the evolved form of Primeape. It only took over like 25 years for Primeape to get an evolution, but re really cool that it did. And we got a Cacnea, looking really happy. I like this art a lot, actually, too. That's pretty cool. And a Rev of Room. This card would have been an MVP in a Zacian V-Star deck, but all the good cards from Zacian V-Star have rotated out. We lost Metal Saucer. We lost Zacian V. We lost Quick Ball. Painful, painful times, man. All right, ooh, we got Wiglet. It's so weird. Wiglet is like white, but then Wug Trio is, is pink. It's, it's very strange to me. All right, we got Grievard, we got Mastiff, Spupa, a Croc Crocolore? Crocolore, a Muck, Florgus, Flaffy, cute art, but it's not a very good card. We got Magnemite A, nice reverse holo. I can bling out my Dialga deck. And a Don Dozo, and now I want some sushi. Bonus common question of the day. Do you like sushi? And uh, if so, what's your favorite kind of like sushi? Now, I like, I like like spicy salmon rolls. That's my kind of thing. But I really enjoy going to Conveyor Belt Sushi's. Got Ponyard, this is the last pack. Very last pack. It looks like that the blister packs are gonna win with that Maridon EX pull. But we got Judge, amazing card. Take it out of your bulk. We got Floatzel. We got Team Star Grunt. Miriam, we got Mommy Miriam, let's go. You know, she used to be uh, working at the Pokemon Centers. Yeah, it was like a Nurse Joy, but then she failed like a test, so. I remember we're doing some research on her. We got our Boliva. And for our last pack of the day, our last pull, it is a... Oh, Maridon. All right. We got Maridon and Maridon. But the Blister Packs, Team Blister Packs, they are the winner for today. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you very much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. And I uh, hope you guys have an awesome rest of your week. Peace out.